Wait. Get in. I'm trying to do this with a camera oh, in it. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. I got it, baby! <laughs> yeah, it is. Oh, oh dude. Man. Yo, what is poppin' people? Welcome back to another video. Guys, we have a banger for y'all today. It's gonna be a really good one. Last episode, caught some awesome bass, caught a huge catfish, it was a lot of fun, and um, today we're back out on the river, and we're gonna be hunting for some river monsters today. We're actually, for the first time, you know, we filmed the Fishing for River Monsters series, and it's about going out on the river, hunting for those big bass. Well, in today's episode, we are legit going to try to catch some of those river monsters, and by river monsters, I mean some big old 20 pound fish. So we're gonna be shooting for some catfish, some mudfish, some bass, really whatever bites today, we're gonna be trying to catch. So. We actually started this episode five hours ago. I have not filmed anything for it. We got a ton of supplies, and we're gonna be going over that today, showing you guys exactly what we're gonna be fishing. It's gonna be fun, but if you guys are new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell, and also hit the like button if you guys have been enjoying the content. Let's go ahead and get it started. Intern Brad on deck, by the way. If you guys wanna go check out Intern Brad's channel, I will link him down below. Let's get it. All right, so we got a ton of supplies, spent a lot of money this morning, and um, like I said, I didn't film any of it. It was just a long process of us hopping to a ton of different stores. Anyways, we got a bunch of different stuff in here today. So first, we got some rags. You gotta have some rags just in case, you know what I mean? We got a fillet knife. Got a tiny little aerator, which we really didn't need. Long story about this one, but we got an aerator. We got some more rags, some catfish hooks, some double D... Double D... <laughs> some D batteries, some big old... Mm, some big old weights, <laughs> some swivels, some fishing line. Hey, look at this, boys. Look at this. Some night crawlers. Hold up. You gonna get a handful of them? Hold up, man. You're gonna get a handful, boys. Look at that, man. <sighs> Bet you will. Bet you won't. How much money will you give me? Bro, how about if we. If this video gets 100 likes, shoot a worm. 100 likes? 100,000 likes. 100 <laughs> likes in the first minute, bro. <laughs> Heck no. <laughs> we got some grippers because we really do need these if we catch some toothy critters today. We got some catfish bait and this is actually chicken liver magic flavor. bait, chicken liver, and chicken blood. By the way, if you guys have any suggestions on any like new stuff that we would need, let us know in the comment section down below. Kind of just bought everything. Like we, we bought literally everything. We got even more in the live bowl back here. We have two bo oh. Nice catch. Two bobbers right here. Yeah, yeah, some bobbers. And then, um, that's it. Now we got something else. Some weights. Then we got some more weights right there. All right, so that is everything we got. And then we have something else back here. So come here real quick. What we got? No, what we got? In the, what we got in the box? Oh, so wait. We actually we made, already got a limit. We've actually already went fishing today. Like I said, I didn't film, but we actually caught a bunch of bluegills. So are they in this side? Yeah, right no, no, they're in that side. Stick your hand in there. Look at that. Wow, look beautiful at that, man. Colors. That is a beautiful bluegill. That is such a beautiful bluegill. And what are we going to be so, doing with these bluegill, pretty, Noah? Pretty much what we're going to be doing, um, I think we're going to use some of these live today, but we're also going to use some cut bait, so we're going to cut some of these up, and um, we're going to fish for some of these big old muds, um, we're going to fish for some of these big old cats, anything that's really biting on the bottom. You know there might um, be like stuff we've never caught before that we might that's catch. That's what I'm saying, guys, there's one thing that you need to know about the river, it's a weird place, and what I mean by weird is just... How do you explain it, bro? You never know what you're gonna you, catch. You don't really know what's in here. There's a bunch of sturgeon in here. What if we just randomly hooked into this? Bro, I think he'd break us off. That, that'd be the craziest thing ever. But um, yeah, so we're gonna go ahead and get it started. We're gonna go ahead and rig up some rods, um, put some of the hooks on there, put some of the weights, set up some rigs. Um, I'll let Brad talk a little bit about that because when it comes to fishing for a lot for a lot of these fish, I don't know a ton about all the rigs. I really don't. Um, the biggest thing that I know is fish behavior. Um, I know where the fish are going to be sitting for the most part. And we actually scanned this whole place and we found a bunch of fish stacked up. Actually, Just right like right over there. Um, there's a ton stacked up on the bottom and then there's also some on the mouth. So we're going to be playing around today, but let's go ahead and rig up our poles and um, hopefully catch a couple big fish today. All right, fam. I'm with Noah today at Kicking Their Bass TV. And Noah said I'm going to show you how to make some rigs. So let's get into it. We're going to start off with our half ounce egg singers. Have you ever made any rigs like this? Just so I know. Oh, bro, I got tons of experience catfishing. All right. Not really. Totally wrong, right? <laughs> I've never caught one before in my life. We're going to try it off with a half ounce, and we're just going to play with it. See, fishing something you can just, there, there's just like no set method. To do no it. rules. There's no rules to fishing, as Noah likes to say. But first off, we're going to tie it up. So I'm going to tie a polymer knot, because that's just what I tie. I'm throwing this on a spinning rod. I'm sure Noah's going to throw his on the, on the bait caster. And... We're good to go. 
for that section. Actually, don't do that, guys. That's a very bad habit of mine. Yeah, that's one thing I've told myself I'm not going to start doing. Once you start doing it, you, it's like... I, well, I can't I do it right now, so I'm not going to try it. Pass me those scissors. This is big boy line. <laughs> like, all right. So this is, this is going to be our leader line today. Typically, I would say use fluorocarbon, but as Noah said, we're going after the nasty nast of the fish. Like, we're going that's after... That's mono, isn't it? This is mono. This is some thick... It was cheap. That's this is like $2 <laughs> for a whole spool. Like, can't get much more cheaper than this. This is some 50-pound test. All right. We're going to take about, how long did you say it is? Two feet? Yeah, two and a half. Two and a half foot of line, just to start. I thought you just broke that with your hand. Yeah, bro, I'm just okay. that strong. All right, we got our line. Got our main line, our barrel our barrel swivel, and our weight. So you're going to take it, and you're going to go through here. Oh, yeah, that wall sting feels good. <laughs> There's no way. You're not breaking 50-pound tests with your teeth. Oh, you're yeah, gonna, you're going to lose a tooth. Yeah, I can. Tooth pops out. It's gonna be the thumbnail. That's the cringiest face I've seen, I've seen all week. Did you actually get it? Mm -hmm. That was nasty, dude. Whew. There we go. Ready to go. Ah, never mind. We got a tight hook on. Hey, hook's up, Bubba. I'm actually not gonna use a circle hook because I want to jack these fish. You know what I'm saying? I have zero experience in this department. All right. Well, you're good to go. Got it rigged up on the old smash. It might get broken today. I'm not gonna <laughs> lie. <laughs> We hook as a 50 pound cat. So now we're gonna pretty much do that same rig on one to two more poles. Hey Bradley, show the family rig real quick. He actually, um, this is a kind of a hybrid of live cut bait. Interesting, I've never seen that before. So. so that is the first rig that is going out today. Now we're gonna go ahead and rig up some more of these and uh, get them out here. All right guys, we have a, another rig rigged up right now. I'm actually gonna put some cut bait on this one. This one we actually have a circle hook too. And there we go. That is our second rig, and we're gonna give her a cast out there. There's a ton of fish under me. There's a ton of fish eating out here, too. We're just gonna toss it right out there. You can actually see some of these fish on my graph right now. There's a bunch of muds coming up to the top of the water, too. I wanna see a big old catfish, though. I'm gonna cast him over here. We are actually just gonna do this. Not the best hook for it. But I just want to put a big piece of meat on this. Try something different. Big old piece of meat, Brad. Is that one? It's worth a shot. Yeah. That's how big those things are. Any type of fish you eat a night crawler. When I took Quavo out, he caught a catfish on the night crawler. Wait. Get in. Get it! Get it! Yep, I got him. I got him. First fish. My GoPro's not recording, by the way. Got a first fish on. No idea what it is. Is it a bass? Dude, I don't know. It's actually starting to fly a little better. You want me to get the net? Um. <laughs> what is it? What is this? A bat! Oh, trying to do this with a camera oh and it. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. I got it, baby! Woo! Bradley! Bradley! Bro, guys, look at this fish. Oh, I want y'all to see this on the river. Live bait fishing on the river. Catch his pigs, bro. bro. Look at that, baby. Well, you know I just made it happen. Guys, look at that right there. Almost a four pound bass on live bait. I'm gonna tell you right now, that's one of my biggest river bass this year. And to catch it on live bait, I was not expecting it to be a bass. Is that not crazy? I thought it was a bass the way it was fighting. Dude, that is insane, bro. That's a big bass. For That's the huge. That is insane, man. That is, we were actually getting impatient for a second there, and then all of a sudden that rod just started going crazy, and sure enough, got a big bass. So that's a beautiful one right there. We're gonna keep on fishing. I got a night crawler out there. Um, we had a live bluegill on this one. Then on this one we have what? Cut bait. Cut bait on that one. But a uh, beautiful fish. That is awesome to start off the day. What? Holy crap, it's a bass. No, it's not. Yes, it is. Oh, a catfish, guys. I got a catfish. <laughs> Look at this. Look at this. Oh, my We're in him now, boys. Guys, I just caught this little guy. Look at this, guys. Catfish on Dude, the night crawler. Let's get him back. Thank you, buddy. 
Oh, so much fun. Oh, you're gonna, okay, cool. Bro, that was awesome. That was, we just doubled up, doubled up. <laughs> All right, guys, that was a lot of fun right there. So pretty much uh, the big, uh, Bradley hooked a fish. So I actually put the bass back here. Let's take a little look at him real quick. I threw him in a live well. Uh, he's down there. Is he in the same way as the brim? Yeah, he's probably munching. Bro, what? Bro, you were yelling to get the net. Oh my God, he's a big boy. You understand how many times we needed a bass <laughs> like that in the tournament and just didn't get her? Look at that thing. That's a big bass, brother. I'm gonna get situated with these other rods first. That is insane right there. Big bass and a catfish. Big bass was on live bait, big bluegill. So pretty much this is the rig that Brad caught it on. I put just a huge whopping night crawler on it. It wasn't even down there for long and he caught that little catfish, nothing big, but I mean, heck, it was a fish. The bass rig was a live bluegill. So got a cool little mixture of live worm and live bluegill action no cut bait action so far they seem to be preferring the live bait but um we're just gonna keep on trying now but that is just insane i'm telling you guys that bass right there is a very good bass for the river and i'm just like honestly mind blown we are going to cast out again so this is the big night crawler that i have on this rig so pretty much right here where these trees are right where that fish just boiled i actually scanned a ton of fish down right there and um, that's exactly where we just caught that fish. So we're gonna throw it back in there and see if we can catch another one over there. Um, we actually found like a little funny setup too. So on these bass boats, obviously you can put seats in them. And um, look, it's got the little tiny holes. So we can just put the rods in there. We reel up our slack. So then we know when a fish is gonna bite it. It's pretty cool. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Got him. Good fish. Like that. Oh gosh, dude, it's something big. Something big. I think it's a big mud, personally. Yeah, it is. Oh, oh dude. That? You see that? That dude, awesome. that was so cool. Look at that. You want to give me the grippers? Yeah, you want the grippers? Yes, sir. Oh, oh look at these action shots. Just crazy. Holy cow, guys. These are exactly where I scanned those mud fish, right off that tree. They've been biting pretty good. There we go. Look at that. Ooh. Bradley just got my finger, just got my finger. Woo! It actually broke. The grippers broke or the line broke? I just snapped 25 pound line on my finger, about ripped my Give finger off. <laughs> about ripped my finger off, bro. Bro, that was like a heck of a fight. You can't break 25 pound of braid there. It broke around my finger. It almost ripped my finger off, Bradley. Look. But that was um, a big catastrophe, but we do have another big fish. Um, huge I fish I want to get this guy back in the water crazy that was actually very scary to me because i had him on the grippers and the line wrap. wrapped around my uh finger my ring finger and <laughs> all of a sudden dude that fish just flopped what oh gosh brad i almost cut my finger off right there so with 50 pound line i got lucky enough that the 50 pound line magically broke thing what's it for the ring fingers today i mean i got stung in the ring finger you got your ring finger taken off by line. What's going on, dude? But I'm just gonna release. You just gonna release it? All right, that sounds good. Let me get a good video. Nice. All right, man. Let's go. Some on that. So we got a bass, a catfish, and a mudfish. That's exact, dude. This is exactly what we wanted to do today. So it's going good so far. This fish, that fish. They is are exactly staged up it. right on top of that structure over They're there. Staged right off the edge of it, right on that drop off. And there's a ton of fish over there. That was another one on a night crawler. I thought you had a fish. I think I, I think there's one toy. We're just gonna get it. back in here. We have a big mess, so um, let's just keep on fishing. 